this is a brief tutorial on how to integrate your Outlook into Insightly. Um, so here's an example that I think you could use for other purposes, but just to give you a context to explain um, the benefit. So let's say you have a project in Insightly, and I'm just going to choose this one here dissemination guide and all projects as you may or may not know allow you to email or store those uh, emails in Insightly right so because so for that reason um, there is an email address that is attached to our projects I'm going to go ahead and copy this email address and so I'm just going to right click on that icon and choose copy email address. Now, utilizing this email address might seem kind of cumbersome. I'm just going to give you an example or a way to use it that is, I think, a little bit easier to manage. So what I'm going to do now, now that I've copied this email address, I'm going to go back to Outlook. And this is what I've been doing, and I just want to share it. I think it might be helpful. I like to set up rules in Outlook. So you can use rules for various purposes. I'm going to use it for um, forwarding my emails to Insightly. So first I'm going to go to this rules drop down, click on the arrow here. I'm going to go down to manage rules and alerts because that's going to give me the most um, that's kind of like taking me as far out as I can in that process of setting up the rule. Sometimes, based on the emails you have selected, it will try to generate rules based on those emails. What I'm going to do is click on the new rule button. And if I scroll down or look at the bottom of my window here under start from a blank rule, you see this first one that says apply rule on messages I received. So I'm going to go with that rule and click next. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to check this box here at the bottom and says assign to category. Now these are called templates. This is a rule template. So each time I check a uh, template option, and if I look at the bottom here, it's going to have what looks like a link. So this link is a placeholder. So it says apply this rule after messages arrive assigned to the blank category so that category needs to be defined so I'm going to click on the link it allows me to do that right here and now so what I'm going to do is create this new category called Ag Share Dissemination Guide and I'm going to click OK and because I'm doing this now it automatically puts the check there click OK alright and now if you look at my template actual dissemination guide is there now the next thing I want to do is click the next button and I want to say forward it to people or public group alright so I'm going to check that box and again that option is entered into my template I need to populate it with the actual location so I click on that link alright and it's looking for um, addresses from my global address list since I have the Insightly inbox from my project already on my clipboard I'm gonna do a control V and just paste it right there okay click OK and now you see that address listed in the template as well so this is really all that I want to do so I'm gonna go ahead and click finish but uh, before I do that I'm just gonna click next just to show you that you can add additional um, criteria that would um, create exceptions if you needed that to be more if you needed more specificity but this rule as is is going to serve our purposes so I'm going to click finish 
it's telling me you get a prompt that tells you that it's a client rule only so what that means is that this will only run when your outlook your, your outlook application is running it's not going to run um, on the server so just click OK so now I'm gonna go ahead and click OK alright so now I'm back in my inbox and I can go to my categorize feature now and I'm going to set the quick click and what this allows me to do is to choose what is the default category that's assigned when I click on the categorize icon okay I'm going to choose actual dissemination guide I click OK and the, and the categorize icon you may or may not know appears on every message from the inbox so what this allows me to do is to quickly say alright I want to assign these messages to the Ag share dissemination guide category okay so now that I have these assigned I can go ahead and run my rule and here's another tip if there's a criteria that makes it easier for you to find the ones you want to assign to that category I can type that in my search field it'll search my inbox and maybe pull out just the ag share messages maybe this makes it easier for me to identify the messages that I want to be sent to insightly to my ag share dissemination guide project okay so I've only chosen these three but that's fine so with that I am going to go back to my rules so I'm going to click the drop down again and click manage rules and alerts so now I'm going to say run rules now and I'm going to choose to run only my actual dissemination guide rule I'm going to say run now okay so as the rule finishes running on your inbox and basically how big your inbox will kind of determine how long that takes you can go ahead and click close and we'll click OK here and I'm just going to undo the filter on my inbox so if we look now at Insightly let me just refresh here it might take a moment too but no, looks like you didn't. So if we look at emails, we can see now that we have four emails that were delivered to um to the project. So that is one way of managing your emails in conjunction with Insightly. It takes a little bit of setup, but after you do it, all you need to do is continue to use the categorize function and it will um, you know after you run the rule and to send those messages over so thank you for listening stay tuned for more information